Hi, welcome to DIY Already. Those who are new here, this is Shantani, and I'm gonna be your host today. This is another hot day in Colorado. So, anyways, uh, today I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna give a makeover of our doormat. It's something I wanted to do for a long time. Uh, let me show you. So this is our front door mat. It has a beautiful design on it, but somehow it is understated because it is just black on black. So I decided to highlight the design with similar color of our front door. So before we start today's video, please take a minute to subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon to stay ahead and watch my videos as soon as they are up on YouTube because I'm coming with my new videos every week. Hope you like this tutorial today and if you do, please don't forget to hit the like button as well and also comment below so then I can connect with you. Okay, so let's start. So first I had to clean the mat. After the spring, it has collected quite a few of pollen and dust. However, I started cleaning with a duster I had, uh, which was pretty bad idea. This thing doesn't work well for this kind of job. Uh, if I had a jet spray, I would have definitely used that. This brush will take forever, so I had to turn off the camera to finish the cleaning. Otherwise, my camera will run out of charge. I used a cherry red spray paint for this job because our front door kind of looks like cherry red, I guess. And uh, I bought this paint from Walmart, by the way. Okay, here is a small piece of advice. Wear gloves. I guess some people never learn uh, from their mistake. And I'm one of them. It will take a long time to clean it up. I don't know, a day or two. Uh, so don't be like me and wear a gloves before you do anything. Try to buy at least two if not three cans of spray paints because um, I can't tell you the other kind of doormats but the one I'm using right now uh, it absorbs a lot and I already used one and a half uh, cans of spray paints and um, it still doesn't look the way I want it to uh, I I think I have to spray a few more times so yeah I just wanted to share I let it dry completely before starting the next tape. I think I waited for around two hours or so. I used bare premium plus white for this and flat painting brush. It looks easier than it actually is. It was especially tricky when I had to fill that tiny corners. And also a messy job. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
So I took a smaller paintbrush to do the job neatly. Um, well, not so neat I guess because after a while the bristles came off and um, this brush was kind of useless. But I still went on and finished it. Probably that's why I didn't get a clean result. So what I realized from my experience is that it's easier to paint the puffy area later to get a cleaner result. For instance, um, if you want the same color, then you should spray white first and then uh, uh, use a darker color to cover the puffy area. In that way, you, you will get a cleaner look and less messy. Um, and you can also use foam brush and roller for that. So this is the final look I got. Not perfect, but pretty for sure. First thing first, the entry is pretty dirty now, so I had to clean it up before placing the mat. You guys done or thirsty for more? Here is one more for you. These stencils are from Walmart. It has 14 individual designs. It's not big enough to cover the whole mat, but I can definitely repeat the pattern to fill it up. So as soon as I started stenciling, I found out I was running out of my favorite white paint. It was pretty dense and very little left. So I minimalized my design plan and finished with some other paints I had at home. Just a quick note on it, if you are thinking of saving money on your paint, don't because that's what happens when you try to compromise with a cheaper paint. Same stencil, same artist, just a different color can give you the result like this versus this. Just in case you are wondering, this flower is from TJ Maxx and the stand I got from Australia. Thank you so much for watching my video. Those who are new here, please take a minute to subscribe to my channel if you want to see uh, more videos like this and click the bell icon so that uh, you can stay ahead and watch my videos as soon as they are up on YouTube. Hope you like this tutorial and if you do, please don't forget to hit the like button as well. And also comment below in the comment section so that uh, we can connect and we can share our opinions as well. I'm coming every week with my new video so stay tuned until then stay well bye thank you so much for watching my video and uh spider <laughs>
Bibi. <laughs> this is serious. <laughs> 